Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another video and in this video we will learn how to install free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for your website which is hosted on CoDaddy. So let's start for this video we are going to refer to this blog post. The blog post here is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. The first thing to install free SSL certificate we need to open sslforfree.com Okay, so let me quickly open SSL for SSL for free.com and here we need to enter here we need to enter our domain for which we need to install SSL certificate. Now you can also include subdomains, but for me, I only interested to install SSL certificate on my main domain website and host.com. If you want SSL certificate for your subdomain, you can also include your subdomain. Okay, so I only going to enter website. I'm only going to enter website and host.com by default SSL for free.com is going to include www alias. Okay, I'm fine with this. Now next thing is the verification for your domain. In case of domain verification, we have three options. The first one is FTP verification. The second one is the manual verification and the last one is the manual verification with DNS entries. The first one in case of automatic FTP verification, we need to provide FTP username and password. I don't know. I don't prefer to share my server FTP username and password. So that's why I'm not going to select the first one. The second one is the manual verification. In this, we need to download two files and then we need to upload these two files. And the last one is manual verification with DNS records. So I'm not going to select the first one. I'm not going to select the last one. I'm going to select the second option manual verification. So let me quickly click on manual verification. Okay, then SSL for free is suggesting to use FTP. No, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. So let me click on manual verification. After clicking on manual verification, SSL for free is going to provide you two files. Download these two files and you need to paste this file inside this location. The first one is website and host.com, then dot well known, then egg my challenge. Okay, so let's create this two directory and then we need to paste this two file inside egg my challenge. So I'm going to open uh, GoDaddy control panel. Let me quickly open file manager and just ensure you are going to check this checkbox show hidden show hidden files or dot files. Why? Because dot well known if we are going to you if we are going to create dot well known on Linux dot files or dot directory is by default hidden. So that's why we need to click on this checkbox show hidden files. Ensure you selected the correct domain and you are on the right location. Here I'm going to create our first directory with name dot well known. So let me quickly create this directory. And then we are going to open it and inside this we are going to create our another file, uh, another uh, directory, Acme Challenge. And inside Acme Challenge, we need to upload this two file. So let me quickly download the first one. Then we are going to download the second one. Both the files are downloaded. And it's time to select our file one by one. So let me select the first one and let me select the second one. Our both the files are uploaded successfully. To verify this, you can click on this URLs. If everything is fine, your file is accessible, then we are ready to move on. Move for the next step. In the next step, we can create, we can click on download SSL certificate, but now we have two options. Either we can create our certificate signing request on GoDaddy control panel 
or we can skip this now skipping is very simple ssl for free is going to share the csr file private key and the certificate but i don't want to share this simple example i want to share the example where we need to create the csr file for this to create a csr file we need to click on ssl tls this is available under security sections so i'm going to click on ssl tls and on ssl tls page we need to click on generate view or delete ssl certificate sign in request so i'm going to click on this and here we need to enter our personal information so let me quickly fill my personal information and due to security reason i don't want to share this now one important thing is inside domain domains you need to enter all the domains for which you are creating the website or uh, you are creating the ssl certificate for me i only need to enter website and host.com then let me quickly select the second one and done now let's say you also included the mail.website and host.com then you need to also enter mail.website and host.com here okay for me i am done so let me quickly enter other informations so once you are done you need to click on this generate button so your csr file is generated successfully you need to save this csr code and private key and then on ssl for free we are going to click on this checkbox i have my own csr okay click on okay and in this text box we are going to paste the csr finally i am going to click on download ssl certificate button now ssl for free is going to create our ssl certificate finally our ssl certificate is created successfully the first one is the certificate the second one is the private key so we already used our own csr so that's why our private key is blank the last one is ca bundle now if you want alerts ssl expiration alert then you can register on sslforfree.com you need to enter your email id and the password to create an account now you will receive a notification one week before the certificate is certificate expiration now to install ssl certificate let me quickly copy this and let me open notepad i want to share everything inside notepad so let me paste ca bundle also and to install ssl certificate we are going to open uh, godaddy control panel inside godaddy control panel this is our private key so let me really copy this private key and i am going to paste in the end of our notepad file okay so we are almost done now to install ssl certificate i am going to click on on return to ssl manager and here we are going to select manage ssl site okay now select the domain for which you need to install the ssl certificate so we selected uh, we generated the domain for website and host so we are going to select the same now before installing let me quickly open this and see right now we are not able to access our website using https so let's quickly install it i am going to select my domains and then we are going to select the crt file certificate file so let me open my notepad let me quickly copy the certificate files and then we need to select our private key finally we need to paste our c bundle now finally we are going to click on start certificate click on okay and our certificates are installed successfully 
now this certificate is going to expire on 1st 15th of january 2019 so before 15th of january 2019 we need to reinstall the ssl certificate this is the one reason i don't prefer GoDaddy hosting. There are so many hosting providers. They provide Let's Encrypt plugin with their C banner. You only need to click on Let's Encrypt. Then Let's Encrypt is automatically going to generate SSL certificate for your website. And you also don't need to worry about the renewal for your SSL certificate because Let's Encrypt comes with a cron job. It is automatically going to renew your SSL certificate when required. So let me quickly open our website with HTTPS protocol and yes, we are able to access our website with HTTPS and here you are not able to see the green lock icon. So let me quickly open Firefox and we are going to open our website in Firefox. So this is a green lock icon verified by Casper Skylight. So we are done with the SSL installation with GoDaddy. Now, as I mentioned previously, I recommend select the web hosting which provide a button to install let script for me for our web hosting we used milefabs so let me show you how we install ssl certificate on miles web control panel it's a very simple process you need to click on so i'm on miles web control panel so i need to simply click on this let's encrypt ssl available domains and subdomains so let's say I want to install SSL certificate for A to Z dot deals. So I'm going to click on this issue button. That's it. And let me quickly select the required subdomains and we are done. Let me click on issue. And our SSL certificate is installed successfully within few seconds it is installed and we don't need to worry about the SSL expiry date the cPanel is automatically going to reinstall SSL certificate when required so let me quickly open a to z dot deals with a single click or not single click with few clicks we install SSL certificate on our a to z dot deals domain so I am going to recommend it. Please use milesweb.com. And if you are planning to buy a web hosting from milesweb.com, please check the description of this video for latest coupon codes. So if you are planning to buy a web hosting with milesweb.com, please check the description of this video for latest coupon codes. This coupon code is specially for vlamon.com viewers. You are going to get additional discount if you are going to use this coupon code. So I hope now you are able to install SSL certificate on your website hosted on GoDaddy account. The renewal process is same. You need to follow the same step at the time of renewal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next GoDaddy or web hosting tutorial video. Some important URLs.